Medics say it's the biggest trauma response game changer in decades. San Antonio, the first large metropolitan city in the nation to begin carrying whole blood inside ambulances for response trucks. The night team's Courtney Friedman gets a close, in-depth look at how this allows medics to perform blood transfusions long before patients get to the hospital. That's the whole blood. This is our temperature scan. This single bag of blood in this small cooler is a huge deal. At least a twofold increase in life saved. The technological coolers and warmers were put in local medical helicopters early this year after the military found whole blood transfusions on the battlefield saved lives. Now they're in seven San Antonio fire vehicles. And that solution involves keeping the blood essentially near freezing, one to nine degrees Celsius in 120 degree Texas weather, and then you have to warm that blood up to body temperature to get into the patient. Lieutenant medic Josh Franzen says these units warm the blood almost immediately. Okay, uh, at this point we'd hook it and we'd prime it till the blood was here. You take this end piece, plug in, turn it on, and it's gonna tell you right now, this thing's so accurate, right there, it already tells you that it's already too hot. You may be surprised to see how small this all is, the blood fitting in this small cooler, and this is an even smaller warmer, so they can take these things with them if they have to do transfusions outside of the truck. The results from whole blood on the 18 medical helicopters is shocking, SAFD's Deputy Medical Director, CJ Winkler, who says most trauma patients don't survive. I mean, we're talking 20, 30%. Now our trauma survival injury could be as high as 70%. He expects similar results on the ground where San Antonio medics have already used the whole blood four times. They got a person that was in decompensated shock that had been stabbed multiple times. Um, the person received additional blood in the OR and is expected to make 100% recovery. Franzen says 200 San Antonio residents could be saved in just one year. Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News.